Hi everyone, Infinity here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here and I hope that you're doing well. In today's video, it's all about entrances. So I've traveled to so many islands to bring you guys some entrance inspiration because I feel like entrances are super important. They do set the tone for the entire island and for like the theme and everything like that. So I wanted to bring you another video. I do have two previous ones on my channel that you can take a look at. But for this one, I've got amazing islands for you to check out. The first island that I want to show you is Mimoland 2.0. So this island doesn't actually have a dream address yet. But I still wanted to show you because it's absolutely gorgeous and take a look at the terraforming and the waterscaping and I love this. The next island entrance that I want to share with you is from the island of Macaroon. This is a kid core island. It is absolutely amazing. It's adorable. It's beautiful. Look at all of the colors. Look at the codes. And just look at how everything just flows. Look at the little houses as well, like the storefronts with the simple panels in front. Everything about this entrance is amazing. I absolutely love Kid Core and I feel like I should do it for my next theme. The next island's entrance is from the island of Storybook. This is a Demon Slayer themed island. It's set to cherry blossom season and I love how the cherry blossoms look with the cedar trees and look at the big cherry blossom tree right in front there as well and this is just so nicely done. I love the path and just everything about this entrance is just so, so pretty. Now on the island of Mofu Mofu, this is a forest kid core themed island. It's set in fall so we'll get to see the fall colors of the trees and take a look at how good the apple tree looks in this color. I love fall in this game and I love kid core so this island definitely did not disappoint. It is absolutely beautiful.
Next up is the beach town themed island of sea salt. This island is like literally a vacation spot. So when you first come to the airport, this is the entrance here and resident services is actually right to the left, like maybe five steps away. But the first thing that you see when you come to Sea Salt to the entrance is the visitor center. And then heading to the right, there are a bunch of townhouses and then resident services is right there to the left. This island is so well done. If you come visit, you will feel like you're on vacation. It's just, it's perfect. I'm now on the island of Waystone. This is like a natural cottage core themed island. And take a look at the waterscaping and terraforming at the entrance here. And I do actually get a really good shot of how close resident services actually is to this entrance. But the island creator did an amazing job to make it look like it's massive and like so far away. It is just so, so well done. Next up, I'm on the island of Isla Libra. This is a vacation themed island. It's so beautiful and it's so well done. I've actually featured a few builds from this island and here we are back to feature the entrance. Take a look at this Uncle Fester flower right here. He stinks but he looks absolutely gorgeous here. And to the right is resident services so I'll show you guys how close or kind of how far away the entrance is from resident services as well. I'm now on the Japanese forest core island of Exploria. This island is so peaceful and so beautiful. I love the mix of the bamboo and the hardwood trees. I think they just mix together, give so much depth. And I love how everything is placed on this entrance. The path is perfect. Everything just fits along with all of the sugarcane plants as well. This island is so beautiful and it's definitely worth a visit. You will be like you will feel so peaceful here. Next up is Lonely Isle. This is a goblin core themed island. You're probably wondering 
what is goblin core? Well, this. This is goblin core. It is green. It's raining. It is absolutely gorgeous. The terraforming here and the waterscaping, wait until you see what you have to do to get to resident services from this entrance. It is so, so, so well done. On the island of Route 66. This is a Disney Cars themed island. It is so well done. You definitely need to come visit for yourself, but take a look at this entrance. I love the mix of the fall weeds and the wheat field. Look at the cactus. Look at the termite mounds. Everything is just perfectly placed and perfectly done at this entrance. Next up, I'm on the island of Feardaus. This is a desert themed island and there's just so much more to the island than just like a desert. Here we are right at the entrance and it is just so pretty. Take a look at all of the items that are used and the flowers and then just the background as well. This island is absolutely gorgeous. It's not done yet, so there's no dream address for it yet, but you can definitely follow the island creator and actually all of the island creators on Instagram. I will leave all of the information in the description down below so you can take a look for yourself. But I just love how this island is done and this entrance along with all of the mix of the different trees. It's it's just gorgeous. the pink island of Meraki. I hope I pronounced that correctly, but this island is actually by my friend Mandy who also has a YouTube channel. So definitely go show her some love and subscribe to her channel as well. She does amazing speed builds on there, including this entrance speed build. Take a look at this entrance. It's gorgeous. It's so perfectly pink, but it's not like in your face pink and the green items like the green topiaries is that what they're called yeah topiaries and the cactus they kind of like break up the color as well along with all of the custom designs that mandy has used and her path like everything is just perfectly done in this entrance it is so so pretty and it makes me want to use more pink on my island Next up, 
I'm on the island of Scurvy. This is a garden themed entrance. I love how the hedges are used in this entrance along with all of the other items here. Look at Lolly, she just wanted to say hi. And I think that this is just so pretty. It's so well done. Take a look at this dream address and the time of day that it's set at. I think it's like 5 or 6 a.m. And it just gives the perfect glow to this perfect garden entrance. Island of Samland. This is a fairy slash witchy themed island set to cherry blossom season. This island is so pretty. This entrance is so, so pretty. I love the cherry blossoms. I love the festival items used here. The castle gate as well as the castle walls and look at the little heart waterfall. This is just so, so, so pretty. Next up, I'm on the island of Moonbell. This is a rural folk city themed island and I just love, I love this island. I love the entrance here. I love all of the items that are placed, the road codes. Everything is just so well done and there are a couple of houses at the entrance as well. So we'll see some villagers walking around. I love when island creators put the villager islands right by the entrance because they just walk around and interact with everything and it just makes it all worth it so this entrance again this is a rural folk city themed island so very straight with the roads and everything but just so so well done Last but certainly not least is the island of Vesna. This is a European garden core island and right at the entrance we have this beautiful castle. you guys enjoyed this video and that it was able to inspire you and give you an idea for your entrance. I tried to find islands with different themes so I do hope that you found one for your theme on in this video. And a huge thank you to all of the island creators for letting me visit and feature your islands. I will leave all of their information in the description down below so you can either take a look and come visit for yourself or follow along on Instagram. And if you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you'd leave a like because it does help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!